What's up guys, this is Alex from Productstar here and I'm bringing you a tutorial of a sound that you asked me to show you how to make in uh, my last tutorial. So, sorry I haven't done anything for a while. Uh, I've been quite busy with work and stuff. But today, you'll be learning how to make this. So, it was this little ghosty sort of synth. I like to call it the ghost synth. Um, it's very, very easy to make. It's ridiculously easy. It's one. It's just one oscillator. So, uh, and it's one of my favorites. So, I'll just show you from scratch how to make it. So, what you want to do is you want to create uh, create a combinator, and inside that, just create a thaw. Once you've got the thaw, you want to initialize it or reset it depending on which uh, version of reason you've got. And then what you want to do is change this analog os to uh, a triangle wave, that one there. The octave should be at 5, just for preference. Um, everything else is OK. And then send it through this low pass. The drive is OK. Uh, just bang the frequency, frequency all the way up. Um, and the resonance to about ooh, 125, maybe. Is that all the way up? Yeah, that's all the way up, isn't it? Actually, no, maybe. <laughs> what am I thinking? 25. Have it at 25, because 125 will make it squeak. So you should have something sounding like this at the moment. Not very exciting. Um, but I like having the low pass so I can have control of the, sort of the sound of it, because I can play with either the volume or the low pass, giving it different sounds. So it's just little textures. Um, and on the envelope, I'm just trying to remember what settings I had. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I had 47 there, and then I whacked this up quite a lot just to give it some sort of uh, open. So just put it to like 106. And then you want to drive this through a hard, uh, a hard clip. This would just give it some nice shaping um, and just drive it a bit. So put it up to like maybe 100. 101. See what that sounds like. Now you hear that it's got quite a nice sound to it. Maybe bring the attack on the uh, amp envelope there up a bit. It just gets rid of that thump and just whack the sustain up all the way. Um, and what do you want to do here? What do we want to do? So that's at 552 five milliseconds and 4.35 seconds. So 552. Five, 4.35, I think that was the same, wasn't it? Oh god, I can't see. Oh no, the sustain is down to minus 79. Okay. Let's put the sustain down to minus 79. And there we go. Right, so I think that's all the uh, envelope sections and uh, just the main sound. Now for the LFO and everything, so... Let's go back so we can play with the synth. Once you have that bass sound here, you want to start mucking around with the LFO. What basically gives this sound a nice sort of ghost tone is uh, this LFO is affecting this pitch. So don't sync it at all. Just uh, put the rate to about uh, 6. 6.36 it will do. And then what you want to go down is go down to here. Uh, LFO 1, amount 22. And then destination oscillator one pitch, and you should have like the basic sound ghost sound that I have. So there you have it. Now, if you want to just expand on it a tiny bit, you can just add things like, um, for example, I'd I'd probably just put in um, a vocoder if I wanted to add something, but I'd, I'd normally just just put an EQ in and cut off the low end. A bit boost the highs, not that much, and maybe find out where its peak is over here. So that is the basic sound, uh, just build on it how you want. You can add distortion if you really feel like it, uh, compression, 
and a maximizer just to f you know make it louder just drive the compression a bit and there you have it this is uh, the ghost synth so i hope you I hope you found that helpful and um, if you want to see more tutorials just subscribe and also if you want to check out my music feel free you never know you might like it so that's all from me and I'll see you later bye <laughs>